as Billy and I investigate the Double Eagle restaurant in Mesilla, New Mexico. We document a major instance of poltergeist activity. Oh my god! Bill, what? What? Bill, what? Come what? Come here. Go on here. Go on here. Oh, what? Stop. What? What? What did you see? I just saw something move. Something fell over. Oh. It's like, what the hell? see the window. Yeah. And out the window, there was something that I swear I saw in the Oh my god. I don't know how to get to there. I just saw something move. It was in this window. How do we get to this? I had my camera. I go over here. There was something white here that moved. Mm -hmm. There was something oh white. God. I don't know what it is, but there was something white. In the other room. It not moved and I could hear it. Let's go look. I swear to God, I saw something move. Did you something scared? fell. Something fell. All right, hold on. I'm turning my light on. I swear I saw something. That was it. That was it. That was it. That was it. What is that? That was what I saw. Oh my God. Where was oh it? Oh my God, Billy. That was sitting right here. This thing? This thing that was sitting right there. I am speechless as we find a plastic tabletop sign lying on the floor. This could be concrete evidence of poltergeist activity. So we have to do live review right here, right now, on the spot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna review the footage on my camera because I had a good shot of it. Ready? Yeah. Watch. Watch. Oh, I see it. I see it. You see it right there? Yep. Yeah. Watch this. Watch this. It just tips oh over. Oh my god, dude. It just tips over this way. It just tips you over. You got it, bro. You got it. <laughs> That's how you start an investigation. Dude. We decide to set up an X camera directly shooting the sign while I try to get the spirit to move it again on cue. That was amazing. Can you please do that again for us? And I'll catch it. Who did this? That was so incredible. I can't believe that. I can't believe you captured okay. it. It's so cool. Oh my God. What was that? I don't know, something, the, the hair is standing on the back. I can't even talk right now. That came from like 20 feet over there. This thing's toying with us. Who are you? Okay, right now we have what you would call poltergeist activity. Things are moving by themselves, and we are here at the right moment to capture this on camera. This is what you would call a paranormal investigator's dream. Yeah. Be in the middle of this wave of poltergeist energy. This is incredible. I don't know what that was. It's so cool. Something on one of these tables or something moved. You see anything? It's like a salt shaker or packets or something. Maybe it's another one of those placard things. Hey, look at this. What? You see this fork? Yeah. Halfway on the table, halfway off. Wow, that's weird. That wasn't the noise we heard though, because that's metal. So cool. Oh my God. Right now. We're setting up shots and cameras everywhere because of one reason. We have a GoPro with the light shooting down on my neck. I'm gonna try to get scratched. This is the exact location where a paranormal investigator was viciously attacked on his neck. Oh my God.
Over the course of this experiment, Aaron never gets scratched on his neck. After who are you? Who are you? It's like, who are you? Right, right, right. We capture a brief sequence of EVPs. They're not crystal clear Class A EVPs, but they are unknown voices and could be the same spirits that have been making noises and moving objects. have just captured an EVP of what we hear faintly saying, the ghost. We believe this is a clue for us to now make our way to the ghost room. But as we head over there, something powerful shoots through me. What? 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 I was looking over this way and I turned around and you almost flew into me. Stand right here and it just went back. Like something just passed right through me. Yeah and just kind of sent you yeah, back, you know? Exactly. What it, felt. it felt like it wasn't a push, Billy, but like something went through me instead of against me. Right. I didn't feel any negativity from it at all. I was just standing right there, and it goes through my body just like that. But, oh my God. Billy, come here, come here. Dude, did mine? Tell me you don't feel Yeah, bad. yeah, my hair went stood up on the back of my neck. Yeah. And now it stopped. Did you feel that wind? There's no air on in here no. at all. So notice how the sign is there. I have my experience here. The other lady we talked to that works here saw the old lady here. Right. This lady started walking towards me coming from that side. Continue on this line all the way here and look at what is at the end of the line. The, the mirror. mirror that I said was a portal. The mirror is in the crossroads that leads to the, to, ghost room. to the ghost room. I believe that this is the astral plane right here. From this line, boom, 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 into the mirror, out the mirror, and into the ghost room. Oh, I just thought of something. What's tonight? Full moon. Full moon is That's the most- That's why the energy the is most so much. spiritual energy possible is tonight, right now. We quickly grab the EMF detector to see if what I just felt can be documented by a scientific instrument. And by no surprise, we capture unexplained spikes of electromagnetic energy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 0.5, 3, 1. That was something transient yeah. just came through. You were holding Good. completely Look at the temperature. Still. Temperature too. So whatever I felt, that yeah. was documented by right. this.